Unfortunately, no. It doesn't necessarily mean the electronics on the airplane are protected. What is of concern here are any metal objects or openings on the airplane that are at least one-tenth of a wavelength or bigger. Smaller objects and features are not usually a concern because they are too small for the electromagnetic wave to quote-unquote see or interact much with. In our case, over the frequency range of 1 to 300 megahertz, the wavelength varies, um, I'll say ranges, from uh, 1 to 300 meters. So one-tenth of a wavelength ranges from 10 centimeters to 30 meters. Can you think of any features on the airplane in this size range that could be a concern? Well, there are antennas on the outside of the airplane used for navigation and communications, for example. These could be a concern. Any incoming wires from the outside of the, to the inside of the airplane could be an issue. Uh, bringing any induced currents uh, to the sensitive electronics inside the airplane. And also, what about the windows? The windows in the cockpit region of the airplane are particularly large enough to be concerned about. The MP will be able to propagate through the glass a lot more easily than the aluminum skin. Get out your in-class project notebook and describe how the outer skin of the airplane will protect the electronics inside the airplane. But any windows, incoming wires, and antennas on the outside of the aircraft are ways that the EMP can cause problems for the electronics on board. Any openings or features on the airplane that are larger than about one-tenth of a wavelength are a concern.